Just overall, what are some of the emotions that are running through you right now? I mean, I'm happy. Uh, um, I mean, it's been a long year. Um, just to come out with the dub uh, in our last game uh, against Hawaii, uh, I mean, it means a lot. And uh, I mean, next is our bowl game, but I mean, I'm just really happy that we came out the dub. Can you talk about the connection you have uh, with Elijah right now? I mean, in the last six games, I think he's got 40 catches. And um, at, even on the fourth down play today, you guys were real comfortable, confident throwing to him downfield. Uh, he makes my job easy. Um, I mean, we have that connection. Uh, we have that chemistry. Um, um, after every drive, communicates to me what's open, um, what releases are working. And, uh, I mean, I just have to throw it up to him, and, and um, I believe in him. Now, Shevin, there was one unfortunate uh, pass uh, in the second w quarter, I believe, where San Jose, where uh, there w Justin Lockhart had the ball in his hands, but it slipped through, and then it got picked off. So, how did that play develop, and how did you um, overcome it? Um, I mean, they were blitzing the safety. I was hot on that, so I tried to throw it um, as quick as I can. And I mean, it happens. Uh, those plays happens in a game. Um, it was just one interception. Um, had to learn from that. Uh, Coach Lau calmed me down on the side, and uh, I mean we moved on from that, and uh, we came out the dub. Shem, you had a, a great year. I think a lot of people would agree with that you know, I think almost 3,000 yards. But how would you kind of personally, you know, rate it? Were you satisfied, happy, left it on the table, or what are your thoughts? Um, I mean, uh, well, before the season, my main goal was to um, make it to the championship, and uh, we didn't make that. Um, uh, there's a lot of things I could have done better uh, throughout the season. And, um, I mean, uh, next is our bowl game. But, um, I mean, after the bowl game, I'm going to go back to work, um, work my craft, uh, work on things I did wrong, things I need to get better on, and um, see you from there. Chef, what was it like just playing against a team that, you know, a staff and a couple players that you're just already familiar with? And what was it like, you know, it looked like it was a physical game out there. Um, what was just kind of your feeling like uh, t coming into today's game? I mean, it was weird. Uh, I used to play them against practice, and they couldn't touch me. But, I mean, they were trying to get in my head the whole game. Um, I was just staying locked in. Um, I was sticking with the game plan. And, uh, I mean, without the O-line, without Kyrie, without the receivers, tight ends, making me plays on the defense, um, always doing good like they did um, all season, um, we wouldn't have come out the win. Chef, how did you feel about that goal line stand, what Kyrie did, and just in this rivalry game, and it was kind of that, kind of like brotherhood embodied, I, I think, what they were all doing there just for everybody. Uh, I mean, this game, we really leaned on the, the offensive line and Kyrie um, running the rock. Um, I mean, when they, when they can do that, it opens up the passing game, makes my job easy. And uh, the goal line stop that we had at the end of the, um, end of the game, I mean, it was a relief. Uh, I mean, I, I believed in them the whole time. I knew they were going to get the stop. Um, we got the sack, and uh, I mean, it was game over. Yeah, Chef, so once again, I guess uh, the game was cooking because uh, you and Elijah Cooks had a lot of chemistry. But, like, but one of the gutsiest plays today was um, fourth and was fourth down from the 34-yard line in the fourth quarter, and then you, you were able to get a 29-yard pass to Cooks in order to set up that last field goal. So what was going through your mind as you are preparing to get that play out of the timeout? So we lined up first, uh, call a timeout to see um, uh, see what kind of leverage we had on Elijah or on all the receivers, what kind of coverage they were running. And it basically com came down to, um, I mean, winning the matchup. And uh, I mean, we trusted in Elijah. Uh, he won off press. And I just had to lay out the ball and um, um, have him run it down. So, I mean, I mean, it was a good play call. So I think a lot of people would like to play just with your relationship with Hawaii, play this up as into some big dramatic thing, but was it pretty calm on the field? Did you kind of feel all the outside noise when you were actually there in the game? I mean, I was locked in. Um, I mean, I just took it as another game. Um, I didn't really believe in the hype. Um, I just uh, came in with another, just another game, locked in. Um, just listened to my coaches, stayed, um, stayed with the game plan. and. Um, I mean, just let it, let, us, let it work. All right, one final question for Chef. It was definitely a tough game, but at the end of the game, what, what were those shared emotions like with you know, your former team members, your team members, just in general when the game ended? 
Uh, I mean, well, I've been with them for four years, so I mean, they're still my brothers. Um, still got some people um, on that team that I mean, I'm close with, and uh, I mean, it was. I mean, during the game, uh, of course, they were talking, but I mean, after it was all fun and games. Um, we were hugging, um, shaking hands, and uh, I mean, it was it was really good to see them. All right, thank you, Chef.